Well, that's uh, because sometimes I found that I had issues with it. Is my audio good? I'm gonna just it's have a quick check. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I have a text. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, there we nope. go. Of a second from Casper alongside, who first champion confirmed last week. Uh, Quick Mick and Cooper third and fourth with Logan and Senna fifth and sixth. Glenn, Pastaleo, Hodgson and Rabsey round out the top ten. Wilder, Joshy Chester, Stug, Centurion, that five place grid penalty, FFG Demo uh, and Crossy who were not able to get a lap in. I don't know, I think Crossy, I don't know if he was carrying a penalty over from the race, race or not because he didn't actually do qualifying as such. Mm, I actually I can't remember. I should know because I don't understand it. Yeah, it might have been someone. It might have been someone else. It might have been from another thing I was looking at. But he just, I didn't seem to get a lap on the board. But now that we're now in the 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 sort of phase between when before we go for the action, twenty seven laps here around the Suzuka circuit. Uh what what obviously some places you can overtake in and can go side by side but there are some places that are definitely just not places you want to go side by side with what are you expecting to see Colm, from the air drivers here uh, around suzuka absolute honest answer logan Wilco will drop it probably in the s's on the first lap um he'll be last just want to point that out there that then has won't win the constructors but honestly you know in all fairness, I think if the drivers are cautious enough into the first corner, just mm. to to um, because it's a long you know, right, it's a it's a long right hand around being sort of angled, sort of an angled right hand. See, catch it out on a race start when they're racing that close with a full grid. You go side by side or even three wide. They're going to eventually slam on, get it down to about fourth gear, even third gear, depending on how hot they go into it. You know, you can easily be caught out, and you know how sensitive these front wings are. It could ruin your race before it even starts. So, caution for the first probably corner or two. Try and get into nearly single foil if you can for the S's, and just play play the long game, play the smart game. If you feel mm. you've got the pace in the car behind, do it in the right manner. You know, there's plenty of overtaking opportunities here. You have the long straights. Uh, Spoon is actually a great place for overtaking. Uh, after 130 you're into the last chicane, a great place to try and do a late move. Um, turn one, if you're brave enough, one's going to be or through the first part of the race in the first phase. Easy place for overtaking. And even the S's as well, you can force a little bit of an error to drivers. Um, you know, you know yourself. It, it's You can create an awful lot of stuff. And what about yourself? Where would you find would be the best places? Uh, so you can make a move into towards turn number one. Just be aware that. On obviously it being a right hander you're going to naturally drift across so you need to just be aware of leaving a space in the car on the left and trusting that the car on the left is going to be able to leave the same be have a lot left with enough space on the right hand side of where the curb is because i believe if you run over the exit of that curb on the left hand side you can pick up a warning on that corner if you run two wheels off that because the game does class that as a cut for some reason doesn't make any sense to me but fair yeah. enough yeah and there, i'd also say that you can maybe if you're close enough and you feel you're feeling sort of fruity enough to go for it you can make you can make a move into what is effectively affectionately known as kobayashi corner the from back when uh, kobayashi was in his sober days and decided he was going to banzai send it into that corner a numerous amount of times in that i think it was 2012 that race that was a great season yeah <laughs> Yeah. Kamui was phenomenal. Uh, yeah, that corner, I actually think that is quite, quite valid. Uh, racers, I find, in Formula 1 online have a much more aggressive mindset, so they will see most corners as an overtaking opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is very much true. Uh, any place can be a. a... <laughs> Good old uh, Sarah quote if you no longer go for a gap, some people take that quite literally at times. <laughs> literally. No, I think literally a gap for maybe a nail and a hammer, that's about it, and just to go for it. For sure. 
you know, you've got to move all the characters. And I think that's what I love about sim racing. You will have days, and I think a lot of drivers will get this. You're going to have great days where you're having a great race. You're going to have some bad days, be it someone's cause an accident, or even sometimes you might cause the accident. And that's the joys, the highs and lows of sim racing and being part of a racing community, no matter what community, you know, that you race in. You know, it's good to see that. And I think the main thing is with drivers, I think there's a fair people, and I've seen it in other there's much less nowadays of people melting off to each other. Yeah, I mean, there is camaraderie in among certain things, but then there's also as well. If you if holding your hands yeah. up, if you make the mistake and you're saying sorry, that's my fault, <laughs> rather than trying to hide behind it because as I say if you make it more obvious that something has happened then I feel like that's a bit more it, I feel like it lessens what happens at the you get it's it lessens the punishment a little bit it does depend obviously on the the on the on the particular offense cost of course but it's very much a thing like that yeah yeah so and for you actually I want to ask you one other thing right so, with Going ahead. your time with International Paddock, have you guys noticed the change in the F1 community uh, in the last few months? Have you noticed the change in the drivers with the respect or with the maturity of the race? Or has it still just been crazy? Um, <laughs> I would say there's there's some craziness, but there is some there is a lot of respect that is held between drivers as the drivers are away off on the formation lap. Uh, tires on screen at the moment. Uh, top two have opted for the hards, then a quick Mick and Cooper on the mediums. Logan has also opted for the hards, so both the Hasses on the same tyre strategy. Senna has gone completely in the opposite direction. He's on softs. He could be a cat in amongst the pigeons early on with the, the, the better tyre grip. Uh, Glenn is on the hards. Pasaleo is on the hards. Hodgson, his teammate, just behind him, is on the softs. Stug is on the softs, FFG Damos on the mediums, Crossy is on the hards, and Centurion at the back is on the mediums. Uh, anyone there that stands out who you reckon will fly and who potentially may make up a lot of positions on potentially the race start, looking at the tyres, potentially, well, tyres on, tyres anyway, the tyres starting tyres. I think an awful lot of people have some great opportunities. I look for the tyres, honestly, for me. I think it would be an absolute sin if Stan doesn't find himself at least in P2 with the soft tyres for the first lap or two. Uh, and the same for Hudson. I expect Hudson to dump up quite close to Senate as well. But I think overall, at the minute, the way tyres are, we would say the soft and the mediums are the smarter option because you're going to expect the safety car possibly win the first four or five laps. Normally, someone near the start has a bit of a moment. So the softs might be perfect for that. We can capitalise, get great pace early on, get a few positions and get a cheeky good stuff. Indeed. As the drivers come through, we'll discuss the uh, tyre strategies uh, a little bit later as we come to nearer when the drivers decide to pit. But Vano is coming down to the line, uh, getting that last bit of tyre temperature into his uh, hard compound tyre. going to be... A little bit harder to heat up. The there is a certain word, but I won't use it on stream. It begins with a B. <laughs> uh, to heat up. <laughs> I understood. <laughs> Come here before you, yeah. before we go any further as well. Top three for the race. Who's gonna win? Top three for the race. Uh, I'm gonna go Vano, Casper, and I'm gonna say Cooper. I'm gonna go Casper, Vano, Senna. Okay. And with that. Uh, we will be just waiting for the drive to be coming on shortly. We've got a great camera angle here as we look downfield at the cars. The lights are indeed on here in Suzuki. It is Vano off the line. A little bit, as I say, a little bit of jolting there. It's a good start from Vano as he gets down towards turn number one. He's got clear of Casper. It looks like we've got Senna and Logan. Senna's already up one position. Casper, as I say, we've got uh, Cooper trying to get himself up a position in the Alpha Tauri past the uh, Quick Mech, who's still in P3 for the moment. FFG Senna behind, looking to make a move, potentially stick on the soft combat tyres, but he's ran a little bit wide coming out of the S's. Not ideal for him there as he goes through that. 
as he, that's the closest thing, the, the closest, ba closest in initial battles at the moment, as it looks like that Cooper, if we go back, just one up, one up ahead. There is an in incident in the back of the field. What, I think that's Centurion involved in that in Dunlop. I believe that's the correct corner name for that one. So connect, correct one. Uh, it's, it's in, as I say, Cooper's still looking at the back. I don't know why the Delta's doing that thing where it's got the plus or minus over both Casper and Quick Mech. I think that's good. That'll even itself out next lap around. But not many. Only b one position really gained off for sent off for that start. I was expecting more off of that. Yeah, I oh, exactly was as well. But you know something though as well. You have to admit, Vano, Casper, Quick Mech, and Cooper got those tyres lit up fairly quick as well, which is nice to see. Yeah, that's the most important thing, because the tire compounds, I mean the hard tires obviously being the hardest step of the tire compounds, as they're going side by side actually, for the lead, uh, as they go towards turn number one, uh, it's going to be move done for Casper up the inside, the champion looking to cement his position, as I, th I thought Vano was going to go for a move into there, but he wasn't quite close enough. Absolutely, why do we look into that Hudson got a lovely move to one and Josh and the inside into T1 and gets up then himself into P11 as well. Yes, Josh just went on. To put his head down, I think, a little bit for. Yes, uh, only just missed that, unfortunately. Um, was on board with the front two for the uh, battle, but Hudson is, say, up to P11, as you mentioned. And he's got Rabsy just in front of him. And I think Cooper is just about to make a move, as I thought, into Kobayashi Corner. And I have also noticed that uh, Cooper lost position to it, like he did have it and then lost it, and look at the gap between that now, because of the fact that obviously going side by side does not merit good position in terms of uh, getting time, in fact it does the complete opposite. Absolutely, As... it was all about the corner exit, how Picnic had a much earlier time to get back yep. into the power. He's going, they're going to go side by side at 130R. Oh, that is wide. That's very wide. <laughs> He's going to go round the outside. Oh, we almost had a centre prospect. The final, the final corner through Cassio's triangle. Oh. Cooper is still, is still looking to see if he can make a move. And I think Vano is going to make his move towards turn number one again. DRS will be enabled this lap around as FFG Senna is up to P4. He's passed. He's got, I think he's got two positions in one there. Or he, I think no, he's still in P5. He's only got the one. Um, as uh, FFG and Senna is now up to P4 and looking to close in on the top three. Absolutely. But what have they been trading places? They're barely using their ERS. Well, the other driver behind are all down between. 47 to 40%. Oh, contact! So sorry, sorry to interrupt. There was a little bit of contact between Cooper and uh, Senna there uh, as you were talking, and that's caused a little bit of domino affecting there as Senna's now out of DRS because of that, as they're into the spoon curve. But as I say, carry on. Wow. Well, sure, that's what I do about Dexco's happening racing. But yeah, that just goes to show, while Casper and Vanner were fighting hard, they've been very very clever about their deployment of the DRS. They're not deploying so much of it straight away. They're keeping it for if they really need it later on. Because you know yourself, it's better to have as full of a battery and do it on pirate. I think they're looking after the tyres at the start. They both know the race. Won't come with the boat and then until near the end of it. So it's very interesting to see how they're dri driving this one, to be fair. Indeed, as I say, though, for, for Vano, picking up a penalty so early, though, that's not ideal. Not at all. Not at all. And that, look, it, to be honest with you, I think that's going to cost them the race win. Because they're... Such, they're so close on race pace between Casper and him at the minute that could cost him the race. That could potentially be a massive turning point this early on in the Grand Prix. I mean, it is easy to just innocuously cut a corner or two here or there on this track and not even realize mm -hmm. you've done it. From time of racing, I, I've known this well. Uh, just from that actually happening. Oh, side by side once again. Well, thinking about side by side. Logan's trying to go round the outside there. Is he going to try and do the switchback here? 
no he's not, he's not going to be quite far enough alongside as Logan remains behind for now and Logan has survived Casio's triangle. That was interesting. Cooper has almost no battery left now, by the way. He's literally used almost all. He's going to go round the outside here. That's a great sort of move around the outside there, and it's going to be double positions lost for Senna. And that's, ooh, that's very wide from Senna. And I think he might. He could potentially didn't lose one to Glenn, but I thought he was going to lose an arm position. But a little bit. That was happening. Josh Chester was by Yep. For P12, a little bit further down, unfortunately. Uh, once again. He slightly missed that. We've got, uh, I think, a Senna round. Yeah. Oh, oh there he is. He's, he's lost. I think. Oh, we've got a car wide as well. He's got missing front wing from the looks of it. Is he missing the right hand side? Or is he? He's missing the right hand uh, end plate, I believe. Yeah, I'd say either he was either going side. I don't think he was side by side. He could have maybe got it wrong on the curb, maybe. Clipped the curb a little bit and that ascended. Uh, and a yeah. one way ticket to the barrier as well there. He's lucky he didn't DNF there because at the speed. A little bit of lag off of Wilder there. Well, I think that could just be me. It's past Leo and Wilder going side by side in towards 130R and Pasaleo moved on. There is a Ferrari sandwich at the moment because Hodgson's just behind this. And that was another yellow coming out of Cassio's triangle, not Cassio's triangle, out of, um, out of, out of the uh, sp out of spoon curve and Hodgson is now going to try and make a move using the DRS and DRS as to be another change of Hodgson's quite close enough. That's the thing with DRS here. If you're not quite close enough to make your moves, then I don't think you can... If you're... He's in the pits, so there's not going to be... Wow. He'll play no further part in this, so that's unfortunate for him. Didn't really manage to make it work. Especially now, especially now that Hodgson's behind Hodgson, he's going to have to make a move. Yep. That's where's that happened? Is that in? Is that just past Dunlop, just before the Degners? I think it is. Wow. I'm not. It's only a virtual. It's not been upgraded to a full. But that's another thing I didn't mention as such yet. Safety car probability around here, with some of the barriers being as close as they are, I think is is possible. <laughs> I think while we're under this as well, I just want to explain to you that move into turn one by Casper was phenomenal with Van um, Bano. They were weaving, going down the straight, Bano doing his best to hold the position. Casper gets side by side on, then Bano runs super wide and he's just made a move. It was a beautiful move to watch. Um, <laughs> very, very interesting. Yeah. As we've got DRS once again enabled, that is a very quick virtual safety car. The thing is, with virtual safety cars, you do have to be careful you don't end up as such breaking as well getting breaking the delta as such and getting a, a penalty for your troubles or drive through penalty yeah. for your troubles as cooper's trying to go round the outside of quick mech quick mech holds on but quick mech is really struggling in comparison to the, the two the, the two in the two, two in front he's just he's got like a he's got like a miniature train behind him as such yeah, I think he's just, I think he's focused on himself. He knows his race isn't with them today. He just needs to kind of do his own race if he can keep ahead of the guys there while maintaining a good pace. I don't know what way his power strategy is, and that could be part of it. Maybe he's just trying to eke out a bit more laps out of these uh, mediums. I don't know what the exact kind of lap is with these mediums before the day off, but it could be that maybe it's, quick it's about thir It's about 13, four, somewhere between 13 and 15. 15 laps I think on the mediums okay. and then the rest of it on the hard compound tyres. Mm. Oh, there's been some contact a little bit further back. I think that was crossy around. He's not decide he's he's deciding not 
such. Really, the career went, but he caught it, and away we go again. Yeah. Listen, I want to mention about Rabs here as well. Hopefully, his wife Pez is watching. She is, you know, she his wife. I I I'd like to say that she's Rabs minder as well, because Rabs is quite a free spirit, <laughs> and she's an actually <laughs> saint for putting up for them. Uh, oh my word. Side by side? Still side by side. Into the asses? Nah, not quite. Not quite. As uh, Hodgson, by the way, meanwhile, has boxed off of the softs and he's gone onto the hards. So, assuming it's if it's green flag racing to the end, he will not be boxing again. I don't know if I'd like to be going that long on the hards. Because... Uh, that's going to be a tough one for like it's doable, but... Mm. They're durable, the hard compound tires, but those tires are going to be a term I use a lot when I'm doing commentary, at least from my side of things. Is those tires might be screaming a little bit at the end, internally. I'm screaming. But looking here with Cooper again. It's a nice little train here with Quick Mick Cooper and Logan. I think Logan's uh, definitely doing a phenomenal job now, but at the same time, are the guys ahead slowing them down now? I do feel Logan is maybe hiding a bit of pace, and with these boys battling, he's probably losing a bit of time and is starting to lose yep. touch, possibly. Just looking as uh, Vano has a little jinking manoeuvre at the back of Casper there, but remains behind this lap. again I feel like a lot a lot of tracks on this game as well from like just from my little bit of experience of, of league racing on this game is you don't tend to get a lot once your ERS is used you don't get a lot of it back oh my word <laughs> that was so much. <laughs> into the degners they're gonna they are gonna be side by side oh that's wide oh what's an interesting oh my word <laughs> That's his tires are screaming, literally. <laughs> yeah, is a that's it's that that's round the outside, but there's no way that's working. Logan has just been hung out to hung out to dry there. There's no. <laughs> yeah, um, I could imagine there was a few uh, potential words of the urban dictionary being deployed there by. Uh, Absolutely, one of them being Jimmy Jellicers, get out of my way. <laughs> <laughs> there is other ways we can say this, but yeah, you know what we mean. <laughs> <laughs> we keep it on the good side of things here. Now we have Vano going for a move, go on Casper down the main straight for the lead again. Yeah, there we go. As is indeed moved on, he just has to stay behind though. Because yeah. with that penalty, he doesn't look at it. I'm also now looking at this gaggle of cars now. is just a huge train. I think Cooper actually might have partially got himself away from that massive cluster. However, I'm looking at most of this train. There, that's not ideal for Quick Mac. I think his players are dead. I actually think his players are gone. He's been so loose. I wonder if see that he's uh, having fun. To get, he's ahead of past. Oh, I think Pastaleo has been involved. I wonder if Pastaleo and Quick Mick have come together there, and uh, just after Dunlop, because Pastaleo is was partially round there, I think, and he's got himself going again, but that's cost him a. I'm feeling that's ah, what happened to Senna as well. There's too much there and lock and the career got loose. Now he don't want to catch it, but at the same time, you know that well, you know, he doesn't have any damage there. But yeah, he's had to cost himself a position, but also probably about eight, nine seconds worth of time as well. Well, looking at it, looking at his first sector split there, he was down by about 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. the looks. It looks like Casper, though, is not going to be close enough this lap around. No, he's not. Glenn, however, is Glenn going to have a go here? Yes, he is going to have a go. He's going to have a go on Logan. 
And through he goes. Glenn has got a healthy amount of ERS to deploy as well if he needs to. Nice. About 65%. As opposed to uh, only about less than 10% for Logan behind. But if Logan he puts his head down and his bolt is numb. Um, as much as I like Dog and Logan, I'll be honest, I can still see him. The podium is still on for him. He just needs to be smart about how he goes about it. Hmm, indeed, indeed. Looking at Fano and Casper, I think. At the minute, Casper's just doing what he needs to do. He could actually sit there all day. He knows yeah. the panic is there. I mean, it's, it's, it's one of those things where if we go all the way to Green Flag sides, the entire thing, then As Cooper is into the box, uh, he's on 11 laps, so he's on to lap 12, well, to lap 12. Most likely, because I don't think Soft would go to the end from here. Hmm, I think that was a smart move, because he gets himself out of trying to fight and the dirty air, and he puts himself out whenever he's going to be in free air, and he's just, I think that's a good undercut move. Hmm, indeed. As... The other battle that's ongoing at the moment is currently Logan and Glenn. As I say, they're all the top four are now in the hard compound tires. Is it actually? That's I think the back marker. I think the demo there. Something happened there. Yeah. I don't know what happened, but something happened there. I missed it as well. It looked like um, there may have been a little bit of a. An impedent. I don't know myself. It could have been in the gym. I suppose we can't say nothing until we see a replay. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I don't think I caught that either. So that's something I don't even. I can't even really comment on. But I saw Demo was there. So it looks like maybe he was trying to get with the win. Wasn't. Maybe it was in an an opportune place potentially. That's all I can really speculate at the moment about that. Yeah, it's a uh, it's all fun. But I was just going to note as well for drivers, you know when they get a 3 second time penalty and that could make a race. I'm thinking about ACC, so with GT racing, if you cut the corner three times you get a drive through. If you get a drive through in Spa, they don't just use the Grand Prix side, they use the full thing in Spa. You oh, the full endurance pit nearly, lane. Yeah, nearly, I think it's like a minute and 40 seconds. <laughs> yeah, I've actually done a race on Spa at some point. Uh, on ACC, and it is one long pit lane. <laughs> <laughs> isn't it torture, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it is. Also, because with ACC, you've got control all the way through the pit lane. You have to slow down when you come out of it, and then not try yeah. not to hit the wall, the wall, the barriers there, as you come round in it. As I think someone's lost it in the S's, uh, briefly. Uh, that would be Demo, I think, or he was getting out of the way of cars. That could also be it. The one thing I will say with him, he does get out of the way of drivers, he doesn't ever really like, try to impede someone, so I don't know, as we don't, as both of us, we don't know if there was impedance there, but um, Domi Dame was very, very good at getting out of the way of uh, people racing, so I'd be shocked if it was that and I die. I think mm. maybe we just kind of got it at the wrong time. I actually, I think not, not too not too far, a few days past now, we actually had, a, I, I think we actually had a chance, I had a chance to speak to Dame, is he? Fairly sound, sound, like a fairly sound person. Uh, didn't as I say nothing really to say wrong about him. He uh, seemed fairly, fairly uh, polite, that sort of thing. I love demos. So I can give you a background on a demo. So when I originally started, I think called SNRC, which is actually ERC now. Uh, it was actually that's how far I go back kind of with the Formula One thing of it. I was originally the. the Kind of set up ERC as SNRC with Rabsy, and then we got Ludolf and all the guys in. But Demo has been racing since back then. Demo's been racing. 
you know, life happens, but he's an absolute dent, and, you know, he doesn't have a bad bone in his body, he'd never try and offend anyone, he's just a good guy. Indeed. Indeed. He really and truly is. But, um, on to the racing, though. At the minute, Logan is now behind Glenn by half a second, so I'm telling you, Logan was definitely held up, and now that he might have the free air, it's only one car to get through. Yeah. Logan can just get a focus back on, which is the. I'd say if he pulls it out to about 22 laps and jumps onto those softs, mm. might be a fun move for him. Indeed, yeah. As we have someone around, that was an Alpine, I think, that was around. Mm. There's another car that's been in that as well. Who is that? Is that a Rab season around? I think it is. Someone has had a moment through there. What is it? Sometimes the dots are hard to tell apart. I don't know why it's sometimes difficult to tell. In certain things. I've had that for like several games where two cars look almost identical. Or you end up saying what a car name that isn't actually said car at all. As back to is it back to the front again. Uh, we've got Hodgson as well on his fresher tires. He's catching up to the back of Joshy Chester. Their side, well, it's Joshy Chester's thinking about uh, fighting back. As uh, well, Hodgson's been on those tires for eight laps already. As I say, it's going to be a very long st for Hodgson and the, and the Ferrari there because I would say Hodgson, as I say. Um, I believe it was a, yeah, it's, I believe it was a spa last week, and mm. he did he sorry he did quite well finishing in the top. I think it was top eight. I think he finished because I think his his first race was last week. No. Yeah, no, he, he's doing very well. I'm interested with a few new drivers today, and we are going to be recruiting more as well. But it's nice to see what they're doing. And it's great to see Costello coming in. I know we're going to be having a few other guys from ERC will be coming over um, as well. Uh, one or two more of the Portuguese drivers. It's going to be interesting to see how they all mix. And I think it's probably tough for you because you do comes in several different weeks to get everybody's name on. So first, we're hoping who has done well in each week. Hmm, and very much so. Uh, medium compound tyres for Glenn and Logan. Uh, Pasteleo is also in, probably in for mediums as well. And Cooper, as I say, has, he's, made, he's made his undercut work. Uh, he's into P4, as said before. And he's good, his tyres will be slightly older at the end, but however, a nice batch of cleaner in front of him. 7.6. Not yet. He's still going on those, those medium compound. Demo hasn't changed at all. Centrum's up three positions. Rabsy, the real Rabsy, is down two. Cross is up four. Stubbs up three. Stello's down one. Uh, Josh Kester's actually up four positions now, so it's going out for Joshy so far. Uh, and the top four actually haven't changed position at all as the top two go into the pits. Yes. I that on the stream. Uh... Casper's already in, had his pit stop, he is away. And then Bano is away as well, and they remain in the same order they were before. <laughs> Surprise. Surprise to no one. I got a pretend oh my god, how has that not changed? Uh, I think, uh, so the interesting point here, as I know, uh, I think Logan is going to potentially be thinking about moving. Is it soft tires or quick, Mac? That is completely off the Oh, wow. Oh, 11 laps on softs? Could be doable. It's going to be painful at the end. <laughs> that last lap. But the way his car's been sliding the mediums after 10 laps, I know it's by your mm. fuel, but wow. That's not going to be fun. Oh, you love the fact him. that he's trying it, though. Love it. Yeah, he's... 
it's a, it's a, it's a different take. Everyone else has either gone onto mediums or onto hards. And he's decided to go for the soft compound tires. I suppose yeah, maybe he's, maybe he feels if he uses the same strategy as everyone else, he's maybe not going to have the same same level of pace. So he's just decided that he's going to go he's going to go completely different to everyone else. Or as they say, as I believe the is used in. Is it, is it Folly Towers? Is it, it's, not, it's not Folly Towers I'm thinking of. It's, um, it's one of those series where the, it's, I think it's got going and now for something completely different. And I know what it's from, but it's not coming to my head at the moment. Hmm. I'll just have a quick look there. Interesting fact here at the minute. Bano's pulled out for a second, but he still has most of his battery, while Casper's now on 14%. Ah, <laughs> Casper's a... What happened there is I said maybe there's a better the better run out the out of the pits was actually what happened there is Glenn practically pushing Logan through as Logan's about to probably wow. lose a position here as uh, he sets fastest lap of the Grand Prix in the process that's what ERS and DRS will do for you is he going to be close enough well, Glenn's not going to be close enough to make the move they're deciding not to so Joshy Chess is into the box probably for softs he's definitely going to get those soft he, those softs will be a little bit more comfortable. Both of the Red Bulls and Softs. Mm, completely different. Oh, you for a second. Mm. I'm on a social profile here. I listen to David Coulthard's podcast all the time, and you have a massive resemblance to him, not just because of the Scottish accent, but just how softly and clear spoken you are. It's like <laughs> talk. It's hilarious. <laughs> yes, the only thing I don't have is the massive chin. <laughs> or a bank account. <laughs> yes, I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind if I had a massive bank account, but unfortunately, that's a few years away yet for me. <laughs> Hopefully, well, at some um, point, that'll happen. Oh no, definitely will, mate. The way you're going and what you're studying, I think uh, the world's your oyster. Pulling out the stops now. Anyone? in the tyres there, but that's a great move into uh, out of the exit of Kobayashi corner there. A little switcheroo on him. We'd like to hear. Joshi, I have to say, when Joshi started racing, he became super fast. I know he stopped for a while. What do you reckon if Joshi sticks at this, he'll be seeing Joshi at the phone soon? Hmm. I mean, he has showed flashes of pace throughout the season, yeah. as has quite Mick. I think, actually... I think Mick got quicker as the season's actually gone on. He started as like a midfield runner, he sort of slowly sort of tried to position himself just a little bit further up the field as like occasional just to take a podium or top five uh, if anything does were to happen. Well, that may be because of the smaller grids we've had for some of the weeks here in Super Trump. I would expect the hair tonight with a bigger grade and definitely with some blue talent in. A quick nick for me is one of these drivers, he's at the brink of being super fast. He, he's just there, uh, I think, I'm assuming he's putting in the time because he's getting there with it. I think it's easy to be a one lap warrior, it's harder to be a racer. And mm. I thought this was some drivers that might be on my TT, say around here is a 124, 125, and others are 126, 27. But see the 124s spinning out and crashing because they don't know how to actually pace themselves for a full race. So, yeah, that's uh -oh. the thing, like, you're not used to, sometimes, the, the sometimes you do find them if you're a time yeah. trial sort of driver, as that's a car, into, uh, into a spoon curve, rather, uh, for Josh. He's now into P9, making his way through. Nice. He's got a massive gap in front of him, but he's through into P9 at the moment. You, having used a lot of his charge, and I'm noticing he's in and out of fuel. Um, that that fuel light like, comes on and goes off uh, a lot, so I'm thinking maybe he's a little bit low points on fuel. And I'd like to note that the battle for third is going to get interesting fairly soon. Oh, yes. And, uh, uh... Yeah. So, carry on. Oh no, I was actually going to say, Quick Mick is actually running low on fuel as well as when you're talking about the fuel so, strategies. Mm. I'd, 
Because like, as I say now, because low, it's the the top three. That's another penalty. That's two now. Oh wow! He's only going to drop one place because obviously Cooper is a good twenty three seconds behind him. But that's still going to cost him. And I wonder, could that? I wonder is that going to? I don't think it's going to cost him in the championship or the constructors championship. But it could have some kind of implications if that's what he, if he's struggling with track limit. I was surprised with Fano there because he was nearly at the three second mark as well. It's cost him a right win. Because he seems to be pulling out the time. He's going to have to find some magic now to pull an extra three in a bit seconds. Yeah. He's going to have to use a lot of ERS charge as well if he wants to pull that off because he just about got his gap. Now Casper's seen that he's got yet another penalty. And say Casper is now, he just needs to sort of hang on to the coattails effectively. Quite a few people maybe running close to the fuel, uh, the limits on what you can run. Yeah, we now have four drivers, it looks like. Could get mm -hmm. in and out of the fuel at the minute. Yeah, there's a penalty oh, from Mick as well. Towards, uh, he's got just about the gap. He's, he's hanging on to about the gap for a little bit. It kind of dips around that. Is, um, I think that maybe Cooper's not got the same level of play pace as what Glenn does because he's dropped back quite a bit. And it's, as I say, two Alpha Tower he's battling, which rule number one of racing, again, I've probably broken mm -hmm. this perennial rule at least once, so don't take out your own teammate. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a tough one to manage, but I think the jury was a bit smart there. Genuinely, I think he's better off releasing than Joe. Hmm. It depends on if he wants to. It depends on the circumstances if he wants to race or not. Because some drivers want to race more than others, but I think. There we go. And job done. Absolutely. You can't beat the power of the DRS. <laughs> Andy. Yeah, absolutely. For the I'll have a, I'll have a I, quick. I'll have a. I'll have a quick old look at the penalty situation. It is up on the screen now. Um, Vano's on six seconds. Quick Mick is on three, with Path Leo just behind him by seven tenths. Uh, Stug, Rabsy, Crossy all have three, and then Demo at the back of the field currently has nine seconds to his name. Wow. Okay. That's been in. What's happened at? What's happened at Kobayashi Corner there? So there was a yellow flag there for a second. I think that might be. Oh, think someone else had a moment. That's Demo had a moment, I think, in the yeses as well. As uh, Pasaleo is. He's, he's pushing, effectively, that Red Bull through the corners. Mm -hmm. And. It's. I think. Is it Pasaleo's dead? He's, he's a man on the move, is the uh, Portuguese driver. Absolutely. That's, He's uh, having a pass down the night today. Yep. That's Rabsy, I think, round in the S as well. He's got himself going again, but he has lost a possession to a car or outside of the lap. Could have uh, been Crossy, actually. The dots look almost identical. Like a, not much different than a pale blue dot. I'd like to know the way Cooper's got past, back past Glenn again, so. Alpha Tower is not doing themselves any favours as they lose time tripping over each other there. Pass the Leo, meanwhile. Around the outside. Oh, not quite. Oh, contact! A little bit. Oh, more contact! <laughs> that could have ended in tears. Uh, but Pass the Leo gave Quick Mick a nudge and then Quick Mick said no. You're not having that position after trying to bump me off, and he just decided to give him a little bit in return. Absolutely, it was an interesting thing to see as well. Fano's nearly six seconds clear of Casper. Or Casper. Casper struggled on these mediums, he was great on the hards. Yeah. I've just got a little interesting bit of information from Demo in the chat. We have five minutes until rain shower is due. That's... It's not gonna. I don't think it's gonna affect, but that could make things interesting. This last few 
as if it doesn't. It is still looking very grey. <laughs> yeah, I mean to be honest, it, that grey, those grey skies look about the same as what I've seen here all, here all day today. But that's just West Coast weather. Yeah. Just either one or two things. It's, uh, Asaleo, meanwhile. Oh, there's contact again, and that's ended in tears. <laughs> I just went onto that and round as quick, Mech, and yeah. He tried to get, tried to go south. Try, I was. Yeah, as I say, uh, through two way through Cassio's triangle as possible, but I think there was. A, I felt like there was just a little tiny bit of a squeak. Sorry, driver, just a tiny amount, which was a. Yeah, uh, Red Bull. The hitting the sort of side pod area where normally if you you know what happens, it just spins the spins your car. You you can't really save it as such. It's yeah. one of those things. A wheel onto like a side pod or anywhere near a side pod. You whoever touches it with the wheel is going round. It's been the same for the last few games. I still will put my foot down and say F1 2020 was the best F1 game. Eh, I say I've been a little bit sort of just a little bit of while Cooper and Glenn do battle once again. I have there's Casper with a penalty now. Oh wow! Uh, that's a big gap now. What's happened? I think I know. That, that's fun oh. out. That spun Alpine was not Ramsey. Wow. That spun Alpine was Casper. He's missing the wing. Oh dear. So something's happened there, and that's not ideal. I'm gonna go on board real quick with Cat. Oh yeah, no wing. That's uh. Okay, it was Logan Wilco's fault, and he should deserve a 15 grid penalty. Oh, the other outfit! The other outfit! The other outfit! That's Ramsey's fucking outfit! Hang on, I need to go back. Real quick. Uh, hopefully that fixes it. Uh, good old, good old uh, Twitch. Good old Twitch quality where it just decides that it's going to randomly just put a massive static thing that sounds like it's coming off a TV and you basically have to go off the game and then back on. A little bit on and off. Uh, it's, it's being awkward. Thanks for that internet. I love what Casper's doing. Casper's going to stay going to the end and just try to stay ahead of Logan on track but he needs to keep at least a three second gap which... Oh my word! Oh! Hodgson's just gone round to the outside of Pastaleo into the final corner in Cassio's triangle, and now Pastaleo's going to come straight back at him. Nineteen left holders. On the inside. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ramsey's on intermediates. What Hang on a second, let me go on board. Oh, Hang on. <laughs> Is it raining? Slightly, it's raining! Yeah, I'm on board with the Ferrari and you can barely see it. But it is raining. We've got two laps of racing. Two people in the back have gone into, into onto intermediate, so we're on to the final lap. Unless the grabs in the because uh you know he won't be that's fine. That's crazy. Glenn is not wanting to go past his team in there. Cooper was goading him into thinking about making the move, but he's decided he doesn't want to go for it, and then Cooper just let him go anyway. <laughs> he's like, no, you go first, and then Glenn's going, no, you go first, and then it's, it's, it's like a good old-fashioned British cue. <laughs> and now Cooper's just going to get moved on on him once again. Sector is coming up. 
Board spoon now. Yeah, we'll go on board. Yep, no move is made there. Who... I've just noticed that he's got the red fuel flashing light. Hopefully it means he's not low on fuel as well. That could be an our turning point. Imagine fuel goes out at 140 or can he make it to the line? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, it'd be interesting uh, to see if that would, would happen. I mean, Ernie being, if Casper somehow manages to still get second with a bust with no front wing, I mean, we could have referred to it as HRT. Now because he needs to be only lose two and a half seconds Three. between now and the checkered flag is final cross. Yeah, he's Casper is trying to get his car to the end with no front wing. <laughs> <laughs> it is the most ridiculous sight. Although funny thing is saying, it's probably quicker than this year's Alpine. Oh, that's, that's the truth. That hideous car. That's yeah, car with no paint on it. He's going to do it, by the way. He's got a three-second penalty, but he's still going to do it. What a dude. He's still going to... He's, he's, he's actually done it. He's got to the line, and he's still got second with no front wing. <laughs> Meanwhile, Cooper and Glenn carry on racing, and Glenn gets fourth in the end. That's top class. That's <laughs> probably the driver of the day for that one. Oh, that's way from Pastelio. Oh, oh what, what's happened to Pastelio there? He's just checking the depth of the gravel. Oh my word, this track got very slippery. If we had any more laps, this would have been an interesting final few laps. <laughs> that, honestly, was going to be very interesting to see if that is quick when it comes up in P8. Uh, several words will be said by him. Oh, yes. None of which we can probably say. <laughs> we could. <laughs> Until I... Uh, you could, but yeah. <laughs> Do you have any Jennifer's? <laughs> I haven't heard that for years. It's from Batman from like the 60s or 50s or something. Uh, is that the one... I'm thinking... Old, uh, Hodgson does get driver of the day, but... It was a man... <laughs> Who's, I wonder who gets a... Uh, who are we giving... Who's getting driver of the day then? We also have Glenn finishing P4 from P7 on the grid as well. Yeah, that's it's a, it's a tough one. I was going to give it to Cat for just the simple fact that he was able to hold off loads. <laughs> finished it, finished off, finished off winning by finishing second with no front wing. I think that's probably deserving of that. Ah, oh, that was phenomenal. Uh, so anyway, uh, your results from the Japanese Grand Prix here in Supercharged. It is Banner from Casper and Logan who round out the podium. Glenn in P4, good drive from him. Cooper in P5, his teammate in the Alpha Tauri follows him. Castellay on Hodgson, both the Ferrari 6th and 7th. And then quick mate Joshi Chester, Stug, Crossy, Rabsy, Centurion, uh, and Demo were your final runners, and Welder and Senna were your only DNFs. And I believe with that result, Haas have won the Constructors. Supercharged. Do you have indeed? I'm correct. And the worst thing is, we'll have Logan in the chats in a few minutes in Discord. Absolutely, <laughs> Logan and Logan life. <laughs> <laughs> also, as I say, didn't mention it during the stream, but thank you for the couple of the uh, for the two followers of the, the, the stream as well. Uh, Toyota Silica Sil Sil Kenya, interesting name, and Hodgson as well. Cheers for following. Final sort of quick old announcements beforehand, obviously uh, with the uh, race has been moved to Mondays, it will be, I will be back on commentary for that one, I believe I will be alongside Mike on Mondays, as 
hit his evil, he, it was originally going to be an issue with sort of his schedule, but he is going to be, I think he's going to be alongside me on the Mondays for Supercharged when that, when that goes live for, I believe, we're doing one more season on this game, a uh, shorter calendar. If you're their call at all. Okay. Can't hear call at all, that's great. Um on that basis then, uh, we will round off uh for this particular round. And for the season. Thank you very much for everyone who's tuned in throughout the season and we will see you next season here in Supercharged. Uh, other stuff to come, as, as, as I say, tomorrow we've got on Wednesday ERC 100, I believe we have something else coming up soon for that. Uh, Thursday is going to be on main channel, it is the return of SRC uh, for F1, with me and Mike covering that. And then I believe also we've got the ERC 100. Masters is on the Wednesday, the 100 is on the Thursday on International Paddock Extra. Friday will be FSC, uh, covered by, I believe it is Angelo and Gary of Blomblade, uh, who will be covering that. And then Sunday we will be back to normal action with the ERC Masters with Andrew and Mike. So, until then, until the next time we have here on the channel that is good night so i say thank you i think my mic was off there for a second as well thank you to yes you. it was <laughs> and thank you to all the team and can i just say to anyone that watches this like follow subscribe to everything that international paddock do give them great support as well and if you are racing in under leagues and they're looking for commentary hit up international paddock their service is second to them i can say that f and um yeah. No, guys, you do a great job, so hats off to you for making this season absolutely epic. And as I say again, folks, make sure to follow, subscribe, give the guys support on all their socials as well, on Twitter and everywhere else as well. Yeah, so I think socials mainly is Instagram and TikTok, although not much is post posted on TikTok at the moment, it's mainly Instagram. And also YouTube, as I say, if you do, if you are on the YouTube, make sure just there to press the bell for a notification, subscribe and uh press the bell notification for all notifications but for some reason YouTube is weird like that and you have to do that now and unless there is anything else you wish to add uh, we will round off no no that's it thank you so much alrighty good night everyone